Doesn't this artwork look amazing? Videos are a great way to showcase your wall art and add an extra spark to it. It makes your art come alive. Have you ever wondered how you can create captivating videos for your own wall art business? Well, buckle up because in this video, I'm about to show you the step-by-step -step process of creating these videos. Imagine this, your art stealing the spotlight on TikTok, Facebook ad, and even in your Etsy listing. Yes, you heard it right. These eye-catching videos are your ticket to marketing success. Now I know what you are thinking. Creating such stunning videos must be a Herculean task, right? You are wrong. The process is simpler than you think. You do not need to break the bank or spend hours on complex video editing software. You are about to learn the secret method and create similar videos in less than 15 minutes. But that's not all. In the second part of the video, I'll share a game-changing trick how to automate the whole process and create these videos in batches for all your artwork listing. It is going to save you a ton of time. To create videos like this, you need Photoshop and video-enabled mock-up template. There are two resources where you can find video-enabled mock-up template. First is Creative Market. Uh, go to Creative Market. Just go in and search frame video mockups on the search bar and you'll get lots of options that you can purchase. Another good resource is Etsy. Go in and search frame video mockup. There are plenty of mockup stores that sell video mockups. During my research for this video, one mockup store that stood out from the crowd was Mockups Heaven. Their video mockup templates are dynamic and way better than the other ones. I have dropped some link in the description. Uh, you may go and check that out. Once you purchase the mockup template, uh, you'll get two kinds of files. One file will be Photoshop PSD file, and along with this PSD file, you'll also get some video asset. Uh, we have two video assets for this template. And this is inside links folder. Now let us open this template in Photoshop and see how the layer structure looks like and how we can add our own artwork and create video mockups. So whenever you open a video mockup template in Photoshop, uh, you'll get this kind of an error prompt. I uh, cannot locate linked asset. If you remember, along with the purchase, we received two linked videos. We'll go ahead and relink that. You can see the name of the video, it says curtainwit.mov. Hit on relink and then browse to the location where you have saved. We have two video links, curtainwit and boa.mov. We'll select curtainwit and hit on open. Once the relink is successful, you'll see this check mark, uh, hit on OK. Looking at the layer structure, it looks like a normal Photoshop template. To enable the video properties, uh, go to window and select timeline. This will enable the video properties and if you want to view the video, put this cursor on the beginning and click on this play button. And you can look at the video playing. Now let us take a look at the layer structure. On the top of the layer stack, we have curtain video and there's a padlock on this, uh, which means we are not supposed to make any changes to this folder. Next, we have adjustment group. So if you want to add some darken or lighting effect, you can use opacity and add some effect onto the artwork. The next layer is your design here. Uh, this is a smart object layer and we are supposed to place our artwork inside this smart object layer. I uh, will double click on this smart object icon. It will open a new tab. We'll grab one of our artwork and place it at the center. I'll press Ctrl S and save it. Now you can close this layer 41.psp. Our artwork is applied on this mockup template. There are few more layers. First this change wall color. So if you want to change the wall color, you can go open this group and change the wall color. And there are other options to change the molding color and change the frame color. So if you are not happy with this oak frame, you can go ahead and change it to maybe black or any other color you may wish. Next we have change border color. So you can open this group and change the matte color. Uh, I'll leave it to default color for now. 
and again the final video is mock up video and again there's a padlock which means we, we are not supposed to make any adjustment to this padlock folders now we have applied our artwork to export the video you'll go to file export and here you'll find an option render video I click on render video uh, these are the export option uh, you may want to rename your files I'll rename it as uh, I'll rename it as for video mockup. Then select folder, let be the default. The next option is important Adobe Media Encoder and Photoshop Image Sequence. If you do not have Adobe Media Encoder installed on your system, you may get an error. So, in that case, just go to your Adobe Creative Cloud app and install Adobe Media Encoder. Once installed, select Adobe Media Encoder and select all the other options as it is. The document size may vary according to the template that you are using. Rest, keep the document frame rate as 24, field order preset aspect 1.0, and hit on render. I will get this progress bar, and depending on the configuration of your laptop or desktop, uh, this may take a couple of minutes. So our video export is complete. Let me open and show you the export file. Uh, this is our first video mockup. Uh, now I can click on play. Isn't this amazing, beautiful? Now you have seen how to export video mockups within Photoshop. And we did this for one artwork. Now let us go back to how we can automate this process and create video mockups in batch. So we have this template and I have collected some artworks. I have 10 of them. So we'll be creating 10 video mockups with this thin artworks. First, open this template in Photoshop. Next, uh, identify the smart object layer. This is the smart object layer. Go ahead and rename your smart object layer as add direct design. Uh, this step is crucial. Uh, once done, you can close this file. To automate this process, we'll be using bulk mockup Photoshop plugin. We'll access the plugin from Plugins, Bulk Mockup. Bulk Mockup is an incredible Photoshop plugin that helps you automate your mockup creation. And it works for all kind of mockup template. To learn more, go to bulkmockup.com. Now let us jump on this video and see how this Bulk Mockup plugin works. There are three fields. The first one is PSD template folder. Hit on this browse button. I select your template folder. Hit on open. The next folder is design file folder. Hit browse and select the artwork folder with 10 artworks. Hit open and then we have our export folder. Hit on the browse. We do not have any export folder. So I'll create a one. I'll create an export folder. Create, open. Once done, then we'll go to settings. Design, PSD, we'll go to export. And under export, we'll select MP4. Then we'll go to main. And now we can click start generating. To see the magic. Bulk mockup will open our template in Photoshop and apply our artwork and will export the mockups in our export folder. All this will happen in automatic fashion. We just have to sit back and relax, go play with your dog or spend time with your family. Our bulk mockup will take care of your mockup creation and by the time when you return, you'll see all the video mockups in your export folder. Our first video mockup is being exported. So our first video mockup has been exported. As you can see, the next one is being worked on. So this will work in an automatic fashion. You do not have to worry. Go take a break. So Bulk Mockup has done its job. It exported all the 10 artworks into 10 video mockups as you can see on the screen. And I think it took somewhere around 15 minutes. I went for a lunch break and I came back and all these mockups were already done. Uh, let me show you the quality, how the end product looks like. Uh, these are our mockups. It can directly be uploaded on your Etsy store or your Shopify store. 
Isn't this amazing? All 10 video mockups created within 15 minutes. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and do let me know your views in the comment section.